Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Arena here at Peters Township. I'm Mike McKegg, and we are in for a great night of basketball with neighboring Canna McMillan, the Big Macs into Peters Township for a non-section game against your Peters Township High School Indians. And if you were asking the question, who are these new faces, the cavalry is here. Peters Township football players are in the building to finally play their first game of basketball for the Indians. Referees are ready, both teams have been announced, and we're ready to tip it up. Indians come in at two and two on the season. Ken McMillan, two and one. Ball goes up, controlled by Ken McMillan. And up they come, left, right to left. Indians man to man with two new starters off the football team. Back door, good defense by McCullough. Nice. Nice back cutting pass by the Big Macs, and they take an early 2-0 lead. Man-to-man -man by Kanick McMillan. Dunbar from the top, a little strong. Up come the Big Macs. Good defense on the part of the Indians. Mills cuts them off. Donovan. Donovan with a nice block, gets the rebound, and the, the trifecta. And a frustration foul on number two for the Big Macs. That is Ryan Galisic. So the Big Macs are gonna drop into a 2-2-1 zone press. As the Indians inbound, and up they come. Got numbers, Mills from the corner, short. Big Mac up again. Back door, but covered nicely by McCullough. He gets posted up, doesn't go. McCullough with the rebound, and up come the Indians. Donovan for three, it's good, Dylan. Donovan gives the Indians a 3-2 lead in the early going. Steal by Donovan, up in he goes. Easy layup. That gives five quick points for Donovan and a 5-2 lead. Near travel, near over and back. Indians playing good defense here after that first easy layup. Strong left hand, it gets it to go. 
Evan Morris. It's his first basket, 5-4. Indians up. Strong layup, nice off the glass. Nate Miller, first basket of the season. Steal by McCullough. He pulls it over. Donovan feeling it. It's good. Single-handedly Dylan Donovan with eight of the 10 points. And just like that, the Indians are up 10 to four. 521 left in the first quarter. Not even three minutes in. And the Indians strike quickly. Miller with that easy layup, and then the rest of it is the uh, Dylan Donovan show. And Kenny McMillan has seen enough, and they want to talk about it. After taking an early 2-0 lead, the Indians storm back with a 10-2 run. And they'll inbound the ball under their own basket, which gives the Indians an opportunity to set their full court man. Couple subs for the Indians. A nice right hand coming from the left. Gets the basket out of the timeout. And we got a turnover from Donovan. But steals it right back. That's Greco. Indians. So on the floor, we've got Thelk, Donovan, Greco, Vaccarello. and Aspenwall. Just four days ago, Aspenwall scored the two touchdowns for the Indians in the PIAA 5A championship game. Big Max fall into a, fall into a zone and another steal. And good hustle by Greco causes a turnover back. Indians inbound. And they break the token press. Delk for three, and it's good. Delk picks up his three-point shooting. 13-6. Almost halfway through the first quarter. And we're going to get a nickel dimer on Greco. That's the Indians first. Christian Schneider in for the Big Macs. It gives Galasek a, a break. Big Macs get into their offense. They look a little out of sorts as soon as that started, that possession. Strong left hand, can't get it to go. It's going to be a white ball. Indians. 13-6, just under four minutes in the fourth quarter. We'll see if this 2-2-1 press becomes a little less token. And we've got a turnover, but it goes right to the Indians. And we get a block on Vaccarello, and up come the Big Macs. Thought they had numbers, but they pulled it back. And near steal by Donovan. Into the corner for a three. It's short. And it looks like they're going to get a push on O'Donohue on the rebound. Indians will inbound under their basket. This 2-2-1 two, two, press is very loose, they, they fall back very quickly. Dunbar with the floater, that was a tough shot, almost behind the backboard. Doesn't get it to go. Yeah, picking up the garbage, it doesn't get it to go is uh, Konamond. Mills for three, and it's good! Cameron Mills! joins the party. 
Good hustle by McCullough, and it's Indians ball. 16-6, 3-0-1 to go in the first. Indians send two to the corner and two to the top of the key. And they crisscross into the corner. Thelk dribbles out, facing a 2-3 zone. The top of the zone is out pretty far. And the Indians run somebody to the high. McCullough for three off the front. And up come the Big Max. Good pump fake, and in goes the basket for Konamond. That's his first basket of the night. A lot of contact, no call. Up come Big Max. Mills gets back. Konamond gets another layup. 16-10. Big Max are sneaking back into it. Dunbar. Pulls up off the backboard, purposely puts it off the backboard, gets his own rebound, and gets his first basket of the night. And we're going to get McCullough. Got two hands. You can put one hand on the, as a defender, but you, once you get that second hand on there, that ref's going to call it every time. 18-10 with just under two minutes to go in the quarter. McCullough out, Donovan in. Aspenwall also in. This guy's going to get their basketball legs right away. Double team. Good double team. Big Max crack it. There's a runner. Oh, nothing but the bottom of the net with that runner. 18-12. And the Big Max just fall back into their 2-3 zone. Dunbar drives the middle, gets cut off. Delk again, off the front. Controlled by the Big Macs, up they come. Double team comes, and nice pass. And gets the reverse to go, 18-14. They had a nice trap there, but the Cannon Mac player made a beautiful, beautiful pass over the top. Dunbar, in and out. Too hard off the rim, up comes Dunbar to, to Donovan, and he loses the handle. No numbers for the Big Macs. And we're gonna get a turnover, Indians. 39.2 left in the quarter. So we've got Lucas. Roast into the into the game for the Indians. With Aspinwall, Vaccarello, Donovan, and Mills. And the Big Max go to the man-to-man -man at the end here. Good ball movement, good motion. Donovan thought about it. Good give and go, and just can't control the ball. Numbers for the Big Max. Ah, nice finish. Nice finish by Blake Simmons. Down to eight. And another giveaway. Vaccarello goes up, gets it to go with one second. And the Indians build back four point lead. Fast-paced action in the first quarter. Indians 20, Canamac 16. So Canamac weathered the storm. They were down. They were down after that 10-2 run the Indians had at the beginning or toward the beginning of the first quarter. They rallied back, cut the deficit to four at the end of the first quarter. But I don't think they want to be given up 20 points a quarter and frankly I'm not sure uh, the Indians are 
overly happy with giving up 16. They gave up a lot of easy baskets, Every, a lot of layups on the inside. But overall, the Indians' defense looked looked strong, looked aggressive. Um, really, only just the one foul called in the quarter, my memory, maybe two, and so we'll we'll carry on. I think I had mentioned the Big Macs come in with a two and run two and one record. They uh, they opened up the season with a win over Wash High, 53-52. Took a loss to South Fayette, 74-56, and had a nice win over Bethel Park this past Friday night, 63-53. So Big Macs extend their 2-3 zone. Indians are a little uh, flat-footed. Dunbar from the elbow gets that one to drop. Second basket for Dunbar opens up a six-point lead. Indians have a nice trap opportunity, but they do get it over the... Half court. Very active. Threes up off the front. Hot hustled by the Big Macs for the offensive rebound. Kana Mack looks to set it up. Oh, blow by. And we're going to get a foul. Let's see if it's a two. It looks like it's going to be a two point. Or shooting shot, or shooting foul, excuse me. They're gonna get Rost sending Peterson to the line. First one's pure. McCullough for Rost. Second one's pure, 22-18. Peters up quickly. Dunbar charges in, and they're going to get Dunbar lower in the shoulder. It was a very strong move. Apparently, the referees thought it was too strong. That's Jack's first. Indians set up their press. Near steal by McCullough. Big Mac's had a little problem setting up the, or getting the ball in bounds. Now they can't run the baseline. Now actually they couldn't run it before. They continue not to be able to run it again. Ball gets inbounded. Double team. Just a split second late by Dunbar. Big Macs. Really good crowd here tonight on a Tuesday night. Big Max out on the perimeter. And the Indians control the rebound. They get fouled. Vaccarello ends up with the, with the ball, gets bumped from behind, draws the foul. Schneider in for the Big Macs. Miller in for the Indians. Man to man for the Big Macs. Miller looks, Dunbar. There's a nice pure shot. Nice three by Dunbar. That gives him seven. Indians continue to rotate players and keep the pace up. Indians 25-18. Double comes. Three is up. That's off the mark. Rebounded by Mills. Out come to Dunbar. Dunbar goes in the whole way. Gets the layup. He had a choice there to kick it to Miller or take it himself, and he took it strong. No problem with the layup. And we're going to get a reach in. Mm -hmm. 
Nick McCullough on the reach. And an act of shooting. That's going to put Morris to the line. Morris has two points so far tonight. Front ends the first. That's McCullough's second foul. Quietly, the Indians would open up a nine point lead. Make that eight. And they have the ball. Up comes Miller to Dunbar. Dunbar pulls up. A little hard off the back rim. Indians pressure has been, has been good. Dunbar gets a steal. And we're gonna get a foul. Dunbar goes up for the slam and it gets contested. And he bodied him and just enough to make him miss the, miss the basket, but he'll get two shots. Kenneman with his first foul. Dunbar's first is good. That gives him 10 in the first half. 5.20 left to go. And the Indians get a chance to open up a 10 point lead. And he gets the roll. 29-19 Indians. Three, four. And Indians pressure causes the Big Macs to take their second time out of the game. So with 5.20 left in the half, the Indians have opened up a 29-19 lead over the Cannon McMillan Big Max, their crosstown rival. Indians have had pretty balanced scoring. They've got, I don't have a statistician here with me, but I think they have uh, six or seven scorers. Uh, the, the two leaders, I believe, are Dunbar with 11. Donovan with eight. Big Max inbound the ball a little easier. No double team, but he picks up his dribble in that bad spot right before he crosses line, or half court line. Into the post, double team. Nice steal by Aspinwall. Up comes Miller to Dunbar. Dunbar drives in hard. He gets bodied, doesn't affect Dunbar. He puts it in. 31-19, quietly opening up a 12-point lead. Indians look to trap, goes to the high post. And he picks up his dribble, near steal. Kick to the corner, cut off by Miller. Off the back and Miller clears, up he comes. He's looking to drive it. Miller gets bodied up and he's fouled by Ryan Kalisic. I may be saying his wrong his name wrong, so apologies to the Galisic family. That's his second. Donovan fires it up and continues where he left off. That'll give Donovan 11. Three is up, and that one's good. Konamond. That gives him nine points. Mills kicks it to the corner to McCullough, in and out. And we're gonna get a foul. 
That's either on, I thought maybe it was on Gre Greco, but it's on Mickey Vaccarello. That's his first, first of the season. Rust is in for Mills. Ray in for the Big Max. Double team comes. Another double team. Great, great play by Greco. He stayed with it, got the block, and then fired it off his shoulder, the Canon Max player's shoulder. That's Ray, and Indians ball with a chance to add to their 12 point lead. Now the Big Macs pick up full court man, but then drop back. Indians look to run their set. Donovan operates into the into the paint just short on that six or four footer. That was a little better job by the Big Macs with a skip pass to get uh, get away from the. And there's a nice runner by Evan Morris. Dunbar for three off the front and in. Gets the friendly roll. 37 24. Two and a half left in the half. And good help defense caused that turnover. Narendra, Narendra Ray took that extra step when the Indian defender jumped at him. And we're going down the other way. Donovan over to Thelk. Mickey Vaccarello. Skip pass to Dunbar. He drives in and scoops it. He gets fouled. Can't get it to go, but he'll shoot two. 205 left in the half. Indians an opportunity to add to their 13 point lead. That foul is on Simmons, that's his first. First one's good. Both players have four team fouls in the quarter. Second one's good. Full court pressure. Good footwork, but just can't get it to go. Three is up. Off the backboard. Up comes Donovan. He pulls up from 13 and short, short arms it. Big Max. Mills in for Donovan. Dunbar gets the steal, up comes Mills. To Miller. Little hezzy and go, he's gonna hezzy again. Out to Mills, he drives in hard. Gets it blocked and down, up come the Big Max. Although he's in trouble under his own basket. And up they finally get it to go. And do get across half court. Just under a minute and a half. <laughs> T 
tough shot, gets it to go. That's Christian Schneider. That's his first basket of the night. 30 seconds left in the half. The Indians appear to be looking to hold to the hold for the last shot. Up 13. Big Macs extend their 2-3 zone. 12 to go. Awesome pass. Oh, can't get it to go. Great pass by Miller. But Mickey just couldn't get it to go. Runner from 15 off the backboard, and that's going to go. That's going to count. So the Big Macs get a buzzer beater. Making the halftime score, Peter Township 39, Cannon Mac 28. We will be right back after halftime. And we're back for the second half, Peters Township and Cannon McMillan. Indians took a 39 28 lead into the halftime locker room. Big Macs will inbound the ball, both teams back out with the original starters. The Indians come out again aggressively. A little bit better handling the press this time is or the Big Macs. The jump stop picks up the dribble. That's been one of the issues I think that Cannon Mac has had. Dunbar goes up, and puts it in. Last home game he got got teed up for hanging on the rim. He made sure not to do that. 41-28, but as I, I was saying, I think Cannon Mac picks up their dribble a little bit. Near steal, oh, and they're gonna get uh, Thomas Aspinwall for the reach. That's his first. And when the, when, when the Big Mac player picks up their dribble, the Indians are just relentless with their double team, it's not for, oh. It looked to me like a lot of ball when Aspinwall was backing up, but the referee saw it differently. Aspinwall motioning that he thought he was uh, getting ridden out with a free forearm. Again, referees did not see it that way. For, so two quick free throws for Aspinwall. First free throw for Morris is good, and so is the second. 41-30, Indians. Up comes Rich Thelk. Dunbar drives, and a little too much. Big Max. It's an 11-point lead here. The Indians do not want to let the uh, the Big Macs back into this game. If they if they keep the pressure on them, they should be able to control the, the game the rest of the way. Canamax spreads their offense. Open three is there, and it's can canned in the corner by Roman Coleman. And Dunbar can't get his layup to go. Peters lead down to eight. Three is up, and that's good. And just like that, the Indians have to call a timeout. Cannon Mack has cut that deficit. 11 points down to five with 6.20 to go, so it wasn't even a minute and 40 seconds they cut that, cut the deficit by six. And the Indians called their first time out to, to talk about it. Indians come in two and two. First game of the year, they came off a heartbreaking loss, two point loss to Chartres Valley, 61-59. Bounced back the next day with a nice victory over Altoona, which is a 6A school, 69-35. The following week, 
at Keystone Oaks, 70 to 38 victory, and then a four point loss to Hampton late last week. And that brings us to two and two. Miller to Donovan, he goes in and gets the roll. So good play out of the timeout to get on the board. Donovan gets a hand on it. And we're gonna get a travel. Good defense by the Indians. So we're gonna get the hockey change by the Indians. We saw a lot of that last year. Not so much in the first two home games. Miller, Greco, McCullough, Dunbar, and Vaccarello. Miller at the point. He drives to the elbow. Dunbar for three. Off to the side. Indians try to run it down. It steps on the sidelines. Big Max. Indians are up by seven. They'll set up their man press. And ball goes to the corner and bounces off the baseline. Indians. Jaden Greco to inbound against full, port, full court pressure. McCullough will handle it. Turns out not to be any pressure at all. McCullough to Dunbar. And the Indians will regroup and set up again. Indians run their motion. Dunbar, front, front end again. Indians get in their trap. Trap them in the perfect spot. Dunbar just a little late and then gets them with the leg. That's gonna be Dunbar second. Dunbar out, Mills in. Three is up by Morris, and it's off the front. Miller controls, and up they come. Dribbles right through everybody, and into the second row. Big Max. That's one of the few true turnovers the Indians have had in this game. Just out a little out of control, and nobody home. And the Indians draw a five-second call. Great defense by the Indians. Canamac had two players that were jockeying to get a, get open in the in the backcourt and didn't bring anybody up from ha from half court to help, and that was that. Miller cut off. Mills. Eh, just. A little too strong. Good job not to make a frustration foul. Elbow up and good. That's Evan Morris again. Back down to a five point lead for the Indians. McCullough cut off by this two, three, or one man to man. Miller's gonna pull. Beautiful interior passing, it gets Vaccarillo. That's his second basket of the day, night. Indians have done a great job double teaming. And the Big Max pull it out.
That's a Donahue. McCullough with the back. Oh, back door just couldn't get it to roll. 45-40. Indians will lead is down to five. Indians need to clamp down on defense here. Picked his, Miller picked his pocket. Up comes Vaccarella, and he gets that one to go. Mickey Vaccarella with a nice acrobatic move. Indians lead back up to seven. And the Big Macs want us to talk about it. They call their third timeout. They call their third, their full timeout. So last year, the Indians played Kenneth Millen and the, to a score Indians victory 70 to 54. And it looked like we were heading that direction and just in the last uh, or the early going of the third quarter, Big Max picked it up, cut the deficit to five on several occasions and have made, uh, made a better run at it. The Indians had a lead, had their lead up to 14 at one point, but we sit here at seven with 246 left in the third. Another hockey substitution. So we've got Aspinwall, Donovan, Thelk, Dunbar, and Mills on the court for the Indians. All pretty fresh bodies. Indians look to trap. They do get it. Easy steal by Donovan. Up he comes with numbers. Kicks it to Thelk. Thelk pulls off the front. And Big Max. Thelk had a good look. Donovan actually really did a nice job. Penetrated, kicked it out, and that was an awfully good look. Near five point, or five second call, and the Indians get the steal. Mills walks in with the right hand, and it's good. Give five to Mills on the night. And the Indians open it back up to a nine point lead. Good help defense by Dunbar. Believes his man for a three. And that's O'Donohue. That gives him 11. Back down to six. Near turnover. Dunbar handles it. And he gets raked across the forearm. First team foul of the quarter for the Big Macs. And the Indians are gonna take a 30 second timeout. Up by six. That foul was called on Galisic, and that's his second. So the Indians will have another home game this week on Friday. Against the other PT, Penn Trafford. So you can join us at 7 o'clock on Friday, December 15th for Peters Township against Penn Trafford. PT versus PT. If my memory serves me, it will be the Indians versus the Warriors. And as for Canamac, they will be traveling or coming back home to play Ringgold on Friday. Indians run their motion offense. Nice motion against the man-to-man. -man. Donovan goes in and drags the back pivot foot. Big Max ball.
Morris and Aspinwall. Beautiful finish. Lead down to four. Indians need a need some offense. Mills goes in strong, gets gets hit from behind, and he'll go to the line. So Mills made a nice strong move to his left. Pulled up from about six feet and got caught from behind. And he'll shoot two. That fouls on Simmons, his second. First one's good. Miller, McCullough, and Greco in for the Indians. Snyder in for the Big Macs. Indians by six. 104 left in the third. Big Max inbound. Oh, almost a little drag of the pivot foot. Three is on its way. That's short. Right to Miller. And up he comes. Indians pull it out. Donovan. Top shot. He gets it to go on the baseline. That's a tough, that is a tough shot by Donovan. Big Max trying to dribble out of it. They do a better job passing and getting out of it that time, but they're still not over half court. There they go. And Indians draw the charge. Really good job by McCullough. He steps in, holds his ground, didn't flop. He took the shoulder and went down and he just beat the man to the spot. That's all there is to it. Now the Indians have a chance to add to their eight point lead. 25.4 left in the third. Up comes Miller with no particular hurry. He drives straight in, gets blocked. Tried to catch them napping, it didn't work. Double team, good steal. And we're gonna get a double dribble. Some of that is just a, some football players that have not touched the basketball for more than a couple months. But my gosh, the quickness and effort is there. You're going to miss a couple layups the first game or double dribble, maybe. Cannon Mack has not been, not been comfortable with the Indians' pressure all night. But as we close out this third quarter, Peters Township, 53, Cannon McMillan, 45. A little bit better quarter for the Big Macs. They held the, uh, the Indians to 14 points in that quarter. And uh, Kenneth Camillan was able to score 17. So they did outscore them pretty well. And 17 points in a quarter in high school basketball is, is not bad either. So this should set up for, for a good fourth quarter. We'll see, uh, see what we have in, in store. It is really good to have the Indians football players back with Nate Miller, Thomas Aspinwall, Mickey Vaccarello, and Evan McCullough back on the bench and on the court for the Indians. What a magical season they uh the Peters Township football team had getting to the PIAA finals in 5A. If actually the first time in school history, actually the first time in school history that Peters Township played in a PIAA playoff game. So a lot of 
a lot of firsts and a lot to feel good about for that for that group of football players in this class and the team in general. Near backdoor cut for Dunbar. Don't see a lot of that from the Indians. Indians pretty patient. And that was a strong move by Aspenwall. Gets that lead up to 10 for the Indians. A lot going on there. I'll let you guys decide what happened. Ball's up, off the back. Dunbar controls. He looks to run. He wants to take it and can't get it to go. He forced that one a little bit. Tough shot, and it's nice, nicely done by Morris. That gives Morris 11. Dunbar drags his pivot foot. Got to get within yourself here. Indians lead by eight, but Big Max inbound the ball. And an unforced error. Well, I could say it was forced. Mills with the hard defense causes Galisic to step on the baseline. And the Indians get the ball right back. They'll inbound it under their basket. Indians set up the box. Dunbar from 13. Oh, and he gets the roll. He's gotten three really good rolls tonight. That gives Dunbar 22. Nearly over and back. Good defense by Vaccarello. Big Macs just continue to, they go in, they pick up their dribble and there's nothing, nothing they can do with it. The Indians are just stifling. Six minutes to go in the game. Near turnover, and it does turn into a turnover. Three on one. McCullough to Dunbar, and he gets it to go with his left. That just left Galisic hung out to dry with no, no help at all. I think we're going to get a hand check. That, uh, that hand check's going to go on Jaden Greco. That's his second. Nobody in foul trouble. The Indians have done a good job of spreading their fouls out. Big Macs don't get anything on the inbounds. Nice move. And Oh, Donovan thought about it. He drives in. Tough shot, but he gets it to go. Little teardrop from 10 feet. And the Indians continue with the double team, up 14. Lay layup does not go. Indians up. Comes Aspenwall, pulls it out to Mills. Mills drives in hard, gets hit, no call. And there's a nice move by Galisic. Cuts the lead to 12. Felk to Mills. He's going to pull it in and out. That looked good when it went up. Into the corner. And we get a body. We'll shoot two. There you get. Lucas Rost, that's his second. 
second of the quarter. Konamond gets the roll. That's 13 for him. Konamond, a good looking sophomore, has really played well tonight. Really well. The second one's good. Simmons in for the Big Max. A little bit more than token pressure this time as they drop back. Miller very comfortable with the ball. Ball comes swinging around. Donovan looks at it for three. He got bothered. Miller saves it though. Good block. Good save. Off the back iron. Big Max control. Miller finishes the loose change. And we got an injury timeout. Looks like everybody's okay. McCullough for Donovan. Continual parade of fresh players for the Indians, keeping this pressure up that has just bothered the Big Macs all evening long. Big strong move by one of the captains. Oh, Donahue. And there's two quick baskets for O'Donohue. 63, 55, three minutes to go. And the Indians turn it over again. Sloppy with the basketball. Three is up, and it's good. Jaden Greco, after the Indians get real sloppy with the ball, then get very fortunate, and Greco just buries it. Gives him a 66-55 lead. And Coach Ehrman wants to talk about it because that is not how you want to close out a game with a couple minutes left throwing the ball around the yard like you're up 40. Granted, you're up 11 at the moment. You were up by eight, and you basically lost the ball. You got to take care of the ball a lot better than that, and I have a feeling that's what they're discussing in this timeout. But nonetheless, the Indians have played a, a real good game. Again, taking into consideration that there are four football players that haven't touched the basketball in months, they really, really don't look like they missed too much of a beat. Maybe, maybe in a spot here or a spot there, but nothing like you'd think after playing 15 football games, going through a summer camp, maybe having one practice and coming out into this environment and playing the minutes that they're playing. Really impressive. Just tells you what kind of athletes these guys are. Indian straight up man. Nice slip pass. And that's a layup by O'Donohue. That gives him 17 on the night.
Back door, missed him. And Miller gets hit in the face inadvertently. Cannon Mack tries their hand at double teaming and the Indians are looking to run some clock. Donovan will handle to McCullough. Indians really have a lot of, a lot of guys that can handle the ball. Good back door, just a little too hot. And up come the Big Macs. Follow on Aspenwall. That's his third. 142 left, 66, 57 Indians. Tough shot, leaves it short. Controlled by McCullough, up he comes. Slows it down to Donovan. And we're gonna get a uh, foul by Simmons. Looks like Big Macs are gonna try to put the Indians on the line here down the stretch, 125 to go. That's their second foul of the quarter. Mills all by himself, goes around, forgives, forgoes the layup. And he'll give it to Dunbar, who finger rolls it in for an easy two. Indians full court. Near steal by Dun Donovan. He doesn't need it. And a nice back tap by Greco. Big Max. They set up their box underneath. Diagonal. Near steal, and Dunbar does come up with it. Almost loses it. Back to Miller, and he'll walk it up. Cross half court. And we're gonna get a foul on Peterson. That's his first. Fifty-three point nine to go in the game. Into Mills, had to back door. Trying to get Mills to the line, but the referees didn't want to give it to him. Donovan just dribbling around. Dunbar's going to take his turn. Picks up his dribble to Mills. Back out. And we're going to get a, I don't want to call it intentional, but trying to get the Indians to the line. And that's, again, number 20. Simmons, and that's his fifth, so left, right, left, right. He takes a seat, sit down. 34.6 to go, the Indians with an 11 point lead. Ball comes into Mills, picks up his dribble to Thelk, to Donovan. They've got him spread out pretty good at this point. Skip pass to Donovan. Just ahead of that double team. And we're into the one and one. That'll send Mills to the line. Mills has seven. First one a little strong. So at this point, Donovan has, I think it's 15. I might be wrong on that. Dunbar has 26. Mills has eight. 15 seconds in the game. 
Driving the lane, three is up, and it's good. Nice shot by Morris. That gives him 14, and that will do it. Your final score, Peters Township 69, Cannon McMillan 60. I want to thank you for joining us 